Hi there. Happy New Year and I'm so much delighted to have you back on my channel. This is my first lesson for the year 2023 and I'm so delighted to have you back. There's a lot we're going to learn this year and my first tutorial is about WordPress tutorial for beginners. So this is 2023 guide. So if you're a beginner you want to learn how to create your own website then this video tutorial is going to help you. This is actually advanced version of the tutorial. So this site is my personal blog and it does be monetize using Google AdSense. But I'm going to show you a beginner what you need to do in order to set up a WordPress website to get a site running. So this is going to be a beginner tutorial. And if you are looking forward to creating a website without any skills, then this video tutorial is actually going to help you. So I'm going to show you how to set up something like this. Once you get the skills, then you should be able to do something like this. Consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. There's a lot going to happen this year. And there's a lot going to happen this year. So remember to stick to this channel for more amazing content. So let's jump into action. What do you need to get a website running? What and what do you need? I'm going to walk you through that. Okay, so before you get a website running, you need two main major things. You need what we call the domain name and then the hosting. So if you're a beginner, you want to create a website before you can see your website live, just as I have my own over here. The first thing you need to do is to get a hosting. And I'm going to leave a link to this hosting company at the description of this video. You can use that link to purchase a hosting and also a domain name for your website. So this is called Namecheap and it has been amazing. I've been using it for several years now and it has been helping me a lot and I'm going to leave the link at the description so you can also purchase your hosting and then get your site running. So the hosting could be just any name, it could be the brand you want to use. So you can easily go ahead and then just type the name. Let's say you want to say, let's say timothy.com. So this could be the domain name you want to use and then you have to search if you get that domain name. If it's available, the hosting company will tell you if it's available. So every name is very unique. So if that name is not there, then you can actually try to modify the name or search for a different name. So let me just search for this name just as I did. It's still going to load and you can see this name has been registered somewhere in 1995. So meaning this name is not available. So what you can do is to modify this name in a way that you can get something for your brand. Okay, so you can see this is available. So if I zoom in, as you may want to use this name, then you can add it to cart and go ahead and purchase it. Now, if you purchase this domain and that's where you need to have your file, all the information you have on your site, you need to keep them somewhere. So that is where you have to get a hosting as well for your site. So what you have to do is once you purchase this, when you click on add to cart, you add your credit card and you do the purchase, you also have to get hosting and mostly as a beginner, you go for a shared hosting or so when you go for shared hosting, there are several plans. So as a beginner, you may like to start with the Stellar. That is 1.98 monthly. You can get that you can host up to three websites and have about 20 gig SSD. And then you have 20 domain-based mailboxes. So this is the hosting. Once you get a hosting, you can have places to store your files, which you normally have on your website, your information, your video, your text, where you have them stored, it's actually the hosting so when you purchase this tool you are going to get email which will give you what we call a c panel this is the control panel where you can easily modify install wordpress so you have an option where you have one click installation of wordpress which we are going to do pretty soon so this site before we go ahead and then set this up i'll show you how to add everything how to add menu and all that before we do this we'll go back to our seed panel so this is the seed panel we're going to use like i said if you do the purchase you add your email you register and you do your purchase i'm going to leave the link at the description you should have the link to the seed panel so when you access the link so when you access the seed panel this is what you do we have option under subtitles you can install wordpress i have done this but for the purpose of this i have to remove the content on this site and then we'll build this together now this is what we're going to do from my control panel first remove wordpress installation so in order to do this you have to go to wordpress and any site you install wordpress on should be available over there you can remove it so this is this link i'm using i'm actually going to remove this for now and then we go ahead and then 
start this all over so this is going to take some time and then it's actually going to remove this okay so i've successfully removed this on my domain name so this is the domain name i'm using i actually created a subdomain this is not a main domain so i have a video on how to create a subdomain you can watch that on my channel so you can do that as well so this is a site if i load the reload this site there wouldn't be any wordpress installation on this because i've removed it we are going to start everything from scratch now let's see how we can install wordpress on this site and then we can actually go ahead and then use it now let's go back to our control panel and then under software clause we'll click under software clause we'll click on what wordpress and now we have to select the domain name so you have to click on install and then select the domain name you want to run your wordpress installation now we have to select that from here and i'm using the gapsin so that's a subdomain we're going to use we're going to use this domain name and you can select any of this i mostly go with this and you have to provide a username that you will be using you have to provide a username for this i'm going to use admin and then you have to set up a password okay i'm going to use this default password and what i want to do is that i have to i want to save it somewhere for now and then i can use it to log in so let me just paste this password here and also provide email for your administrative access so i'll put email over here and every other thing over here is going to be like that and i'll click on installation right here if you want to get details of the installation in your email you can also add your email over here and then click on what install this is just going to take some time and then the installation should be done and we can access the back end of this website okay so this is done it's going to give you two links the link to the site and then the link to the dashboard the admin dashboard of your wordpress website so if i click on this it's going to take me to the front end of this site so you can see at the moment we just have this raw website and when i use the second link it should take me towards the dashboard of my wordpress so that is where we will start doing the customization so this is the back end of the wordpress site and this is actually the front end over here realize that the information is not showing the same thing but if we reload this it's actually going to show the front end now let me close some of this and then let's go to the back and then we can start doing the customization now what we do first is you have to give your site a name so when you go to the dashboard you can go to settings and then go to general so let's give this site a name at the moment you can see it's in my blog so if you go to general you can actually give a name so let's say uh, a journey to the west so let's say that's the name and then maybe you have to give a tagline so i say don't give up so let's say that is the information i want to provide and every other thing i'm going to leave them as default for now and click on save so as a beginner if you install wordpress these are the things you have to do first and also under the same settings you go to permalinks click on permalinks and permalinks for search engine to optimize this site it's best to select for post name so you select post name and then you have to also save this the last thing i normally do is the default wordpress installation the default post which is the hello world i mostly delete that so i go under the post and go to all posts and that hello world that comes alongside the installation i click on trash and mostly i delete it go into the trash and then i delete it permanently and there's also a sample page which i delete as well because you want your site to look light as possible so i'll try the sample page and then we can start setting up our own website so that this is what we're going to do now we can get a team for your site to look very nice and attractive like this you need to get a team a team will determine how your site is going to look like the colors and all those things we'll be doing the advanced courses how to create and monetize your blog we'll be doing that so i'll show you how to create this site later on this is advanced one but this is actually for beginners so once you get this concept you should be able to also 
create an advanced website now we're going to get a team and let's go to appearance so you have to go to appearance and go to teams at the moment you can see how this website is looking we have deleted the hello world as the default post so if i re reload this that should go so it's no more there now we want to change the look of this site over here so we have to get a team you can go to add new so once you go to team and go to add new it's going to give you a list of teams over here plenty of that and you can sort them by popular latest block teams favorites and then you can also filter this team so let me just click on filter as you want to create a block to share ideas information then you can easily sort out this by block and then click on apply filter so it's going to give you team that will actually help you create a block so you can see there are several teams over here and then we will stick to one let's just look for one i think we should use this the work act block team we are going to use this so you can preview this thing before you install or just click on install anytime you install any team you have to activate it so i've installed this thing but it will not take effect until i activate so click on activate and then there we go so these teams will come with some demo plugins so there are some plugins that you need to install in order to run this to use this team effectively so it will ask you for some teams installation so i'm actually not going to install this for now because i want to build everything from scratch to show you there are other teams that come alongside the installation the 2021 the 2023 team so sometimes what you have to do is to delete them before you can delete a team the team shouldn't be active so at the moment this team is active the work acts so i can delete you can see the delete is not active it's not available before i can delete it i need to what deactivate it first so i need to first deactivate this team before i can delete it how do i delete how do i deactivate a team afterwards activate a different one then this one automatically be deactivated so that's how it works you will not see anything like deactivate all you have to do is to activate a new team and then the recent one will just deactivate on it as you can see this one now there's option to delete it so i can reactivate this and then and the old one will also deactivate so that is how it works so now if i go back and then I, I reload this the look of this site should be what different so you can see how this site is looking at the moment everything has just changed because we are using a different team now we're going to learn how we can add a menu we can add a logo here so this is just a site title if we want to keep here we want to keep this here alongside a logo we can do it if we want to we don't have any posts yet we can do that and this is actually the sidebar we can customize this and create our own sidebar so we are going to do all this now before we, we make any post we need to have our category as well so for the sake of our blog the menu is going to be our category so if you check this site everything i have over here is under it's actually a category that i've created so for our blog post that is what we're going to do we are not going to create pages we're actually going to create categories and use them as our menu so let's go ahead and then do that now since we are just talking about something journey let's say it's about travel blog so to create our category you go under post and then you go to categories and then you can start naming them mostly you will see this uncategorized over here and there will not be any option to delete it so the best thing i do is to actually rename this to one of my categories so let's say travel so the slug is actually going to be the same thing and then i'll just update this and then let's add two more let's say travel let's say by c and let me copy the same thing for my slug and then i click on add to category and then i can add the last one let me see by a and then i'll paste it here and then also click on add to category so i have two categories that means if you make a post the post need to fall under a certain category so have this and then we want to display this within the menu 
we want to display them here so to do that we go to appearance and then we go to menu and then you have to give a menu a name so let's create a name so i can say let me just call it menu for now and then we can save this so we have to create this the minute we create this every other thing here will become active because we want to use our category source our menu you come under category select that and then go to view all as you can see what the three categories we created i'll show you over here so just select all and then we add it to our menu and then we're going to make it our primary menu and then click on save menu so immediately we do that and we reload this this should actually show at the top of it so you can see we have the travel by c by a now we can also modify this logo and then we can make some few posts so what i need to do is i have to go to customize so if you want to change your look the look of your team colors and every other thing just go to appearance and then go to customize just click on that And then we can actually do the changes over here now to change this logo we can just go to site identity and you can see this option to add logo the site title is there which we've already done so to change this site title and use logo we can just select click on this and then select a logo we don't have any logo in our media library so we have to click on select file and then pick it from any location i think i have some logo here so i'll just select this and then the logo should have a transparent background so it should be a png file so we just open this and then click on insert and just can you can easily crop this and then you click on crop image and then this logo is actually going to show but it's showing alongside our site title so we can disable the site title so you can see over display site title and tagline let's uncheck this to actually disable that so now we just have this with the logo we have the what we call the site icon which normally display next to your site name and that is 512 by 512 you can create that and then add them i'll do that in my advanced tutorial so stay tuned for that so you have to publish this to take effect and then for the footer as well you can actually modify this the footer information if you go to team option there's more information down here so you can see we have the site title over here you can actually modify this so you have the display scroll top button which is actually displayed over here if you don't want to display that you can just disable that and it will disappear so you can just enable that back now we have our site set there are a lot we can do over here so if you look at this page we have the single post page we can display the date that the post is made then the actor the person who actually made the post we can add all those things information right here so let me click on publish we'll be making our first post very soon and then we'll see how this is going to look like now i'm actually going to close this then let's make our first post and see how this is going to look like now in order to make a post you go to post and click on add new and the post is going to have a title and it's going to fall under a category just like i said okay you can see how bad this page is looking like we want it to look like microsoft word it should look decent and then we should be able to write and then customize everything this is not looking neat at the moment so in order to get rid of this we have to install the plugin so plugin add additional functionality to our website so this is the first plugin we're going to install there are some default plugins that comes with the website so you can go back and click on the dashboard of this site i didn't close this because i want to show you how that plugin is going to work very very effective after we are done installing it we'll just come here and then refresh this page and see how it's going to look like now go to plugins and then go to add new we are going to install a plugin called classic widgets so this is a plugin we'll be using this later on but i'll show you where we we'll use it but the one we need now is a classic editor so click on install now and then we have to activate it this plugin is used by over 5 million plus and then over thousand five star reviews okay so just activate it 
now this team is active this plugin is activated we'll go back here and let's try reloading this and see how amazing this is going to look so you can see it just changed the look of this and the interface just look like just microsoft Word. we can give a title to our blog post and then write something here we have cambold in it apply bulletin and then we can actually publish this you can see the category we created also showing over here so i have some page open which contains some lorem text so we want to use to create some dummy blog post so i'll copy this and let's assume this is the title of our blog post i'll paste it here and then we can paste the content over here so we are creating our first blog post so i'll copy this and then paste it here so this is it we have every other information over here we'll be doing details tutorial as we want to add a link within this blog post you can just highlight that and then click on the link and then you add your link so let's say you want to link this to my other website we can just copy this here and then paste it within this and then click on this to apply so this now will become what a link now we are posting it to fall within a category so we come down here and then click on travel so let's say this post is about travel then put it under that category you can add a a tag so where you travel to a certain town you can easily put it over there so you can easily put any information you want to use over here so this is just gonna be a tag which is related to your post so we have to add a featured image image that will show alongside your post so we can click on set featured image and that could be any image so i think i have some images at the download section so i downloaded some images so i just want to use any of these images for that so i'll just select open this we have to uh, we have to wait for this to load So you have to allow your image to load and then we insert it or set it as our featured image So this is done you just have to click on set featured image and then this is going to load right here so you can see we have the image and we have to publish it to be live now we can just click on view post to open this post so at the moment you can see we have what is lorem the image we use it's rightly showing the content is right there if we go back to the home page you can see this first blog post right here you can see we have our first blog post we've made our first blog post now we are going to add three more and then we can see how this layout is going to be like you can see the name what mean the date this was published everything is rightly showing over there and this is under the travel category so when i click on travel then this should actually show okay so this is under travel you can see from my address bar what about if i go to by c so you see by c there's no post at the moment so you've not placed any post under by c so we're going to make additional posts so let's go back here go to post and then we'll make additional posts i'm going to still use some lorem text so let's pick another lorem text create another title So for the content, I'm actually going to copy this text, dummy text as well. And I'll paste this here and you know how to add links. So let's place this under C. It could be under one or more categories. You can also add a tag. So we can go back and then add our featured image. So I can just pick any featured image and then use in this particular lesson so i have some image here or just me use just this so this is just for beginners showing the skills you needed in order to set up a site and then have it running or if you have to create a blog so 
let me just publish this so i'll come back here if actually refresh this page you can see we have the second post and this is actually under what by c so if you go under by c now we should be having just the post so you can place them under different different categories i think this video is becoming long the skills we needed are just what i'm showing you i'm going to do a comprehensive video tutorial and show you how you can actually purchase it everything step by step with no steps skipped and every skills you need every other questions you have just leave that in the comment section i'll also leave the link to the hosting platform you can buy your domain name and then use over there as well so if i come down here at the moment let me go back to the home it's actually going to display all the blog posts i've made these are just sidebar and then we can change that within our widgets and i'll show you how to access the widget so we go back here and then on the appearance you see we have widget but this widget is not going to look decent so we have to install a plugin to format this so if i open this widget you can see it's not looking well organized at all and it's going to be difficult to handle this so we will go and then install a plugin called classic widget so go to plugins and go to add new and then we're going to install this plugin and activate it classic widget and then we activate it there's other plugins we have to install to make this site run fast and i don't want this video to look long so i'm going to do another part another series of this to make everything more amazing from beginner to advanced so that video is going to be from beginner to advanced so now we can actually go back to our appearance and then go to widgets and the widget now should be well organized so you can see now the information we have over here that's the sidebar the search bar and the recent post if you want to remove it all you have to go is this is the sidebar this is the first one which is the search you can actually delete it and then the second one is our recent word post if you don't want it you can delete it or just drag it up there and if you go back and reload the search bar the recent post should disappear from there so you can see the search bar and the recent poll is no more there so basically these are the steps you need to in order to start creating a simple wordpress website as a beginner there are more video tutorials coming you can ask slide can do some amazing stuff and there's a lot you be getting from my channel this year like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials till i come your way again Bye-bye.